Hey guys, for today's video, I will show you guys a beauty haul, makeup haul, mostly Korean beauty, but I do have a few American products, so let's get started. So first store that I shopped at is Style Korean, and they did send me these products for free, but everything is going to be my opinion, and I did pick out everything myself, so these are just products that I would usually buy if I were, you know, buying them. So the first product is this toner. I was running out of my toner, so I just decided to get this one because I do have acne prone skin and I just thought that this would be suitable from like the description it provided. I haven't used this yet and I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not sure how this really works. This is the Nightingale Daily Derma Eraser and yeah, that's all I have for this product right now. The next product I have is an April Skin Lip Tint and I adore lip tints so much. I have way too many lip tints. But going on, this is in the color Peach Crush and it's a super pretty peach color and it really does not budge after you apply it on. What I would say about this product is that it's definitely a little bit more on the drier side so I would probably exfoliate before I use this product. I really like the more glossy look nowadays so I apply just a little bit of Carmex over it to make my lips look a little bit more moisturized. Next I have a silicone sponge and this has been the rage all over the internet lately and I still haven't used this yet. I still haven't gotten the chance to try it out but I did use it as a mixing palette for my foundation because it wouldn't soak in and it was the only thing I had on hand so that's what I use this for. I don't really have much of an opinion on this product since I haven't used this yet. Next product I have is the Etude House Double Lasting Foundation and I adore this foundation so much. I like to mix this in with like my moisturizing primers and it just gives a really nice dewy look but not too dewy you still look matte so that's really nice and for the next product I have a concealer this is by the Sam not sure not 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it but I tried this is the cover perfection tip concealer and I know Edward uses this a lot and I was watching his videos I said why not buy this and try it out and it really does provide really good coverage for like certain areas like pimples or like acne scars it really does provide a lot of coverage for that and I really like it what was that? I got it in the color 1.5 natural beige and it's a little bit dark so I wished I would have gotten a color lighter so it would have matched my skin tone a lot better. But I'm pretty sure since the summer time is coming, I'll probably get darker, maybe, not too sure. So it will probably work out then. Next, I got a Nature Republic Aqua Super Aqua Max Watery Essence. And I was just looking for a product that would moisturize my skin after, well no, not after, before I apply my moisturizer. And it will just double up the moisture levels on my skin and it won't create weird patches on my skin when I apply my makeup. And I find that this is really good because it's super light and it just literally melts into your skin and it absorbs it instantly. And I just think that it's really perfect for just, you know, a light moisturizer, but it's not really a moisturizer since it's like an essence. But I just think it's really nice and it smells really good too. And then I have the Benton. Benton? I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand, but this is a Snail Bee High Content Skin. And it's basically um, like a watery toner. Basically, like it's really, oh, it's really watery. And you just pat it into your skin. And it's supposed to provide acne control, whitening, and it's alcohol free so that's really nice alcohol since it dries out your skin if you have oily skin that'll be great and i just got this because you know oily skin i need a not oily skin i have acne skin so i need to keep it in control and i haven't gotten as much breakouts as i used to and i'm super happy about that next i got a eyeliner and this is the chosunga 20 no, Chosunga 22 Pencil Liner in PG02 in Champagne Gold. And this is just a really shimmery pencil liner for your like inner corner. And I just think it's super pretty and it's like this perfect amount of glitter. Not too glittery, but glittery enough to make your eyes pop. And I really like it. 
And it's also twistable so you don't have to bother with like a sharpener or anything. The last product I got from Style Korean is Perry's Ink Velvet. I'm pretty sure this is like the newer lip tints from them. And it's just a matte lip tint unlike the Perry's Ink one. Um, I... I'm not big on this lip tint. I don't really reach out for this as much. And I got this in a color number six, by the way. And it's just, it's just matte and there's just no interest for me to use it every single day. But I do use it sometimes as like a base color and then I apply another color over it and then it'll just look really good. So yeah, I would definitely just use this as like a layering lip tint, not necessarily like an everyday lip tint color. The next store that I purchased from is Tester Korea and I just got just a few things, just a couple things, not too much. So the first product I got is the Vanilla Co. Two Kisses Dual Tint and there's a gel side and then emulsion side. Uh, this is in the color 04. I'm not too sure what the name is, but Taeyeon endorses this lip tint and I thought Maybe I should try it out. And what I can say about this product is that it's really bitter when you taste it. Well, you don't really like go like taste it like that, but when you apply it to your lips, I applied too much on my first try and like half of it like went into my mouth and it was so bitter, but um, I got over it and the color is super pretty. It's a really pretty orange color, but I don't really necessarily go for this lip tint as often as I maybe should because it's really bitter and it like scarred me just a little bit. Next, I have the 3CE Tattoo Lip Tint and this is in the color Coma. And this is a really pretty lip tint. It's a really dark purpley red shade. I only apply one dot to the bottom and then one dot on the top and just blend it in with my fingers. And it'll look super pretty and the color it's just really pigmented and it'll stay on forever and it also stain your fingers so if you don't want to use your fingers you can also use like a q-tip or like a lip brush that would probably work then i have a 3ce style nanda sparkling liquid pigment but it's just a liquid pigment and you blend it in and it's super sparkly like i've never seen something so sparkly before and it's not necessarily like really fine glitter you can still feel it when you rub it in but it really just stays in place after when it dries and it will be super 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 glittery. I think it looks super pretty if you apply it if you feel wild if I feel wild enough to put this on my cheekbones as highlighter. I think it looks super pretty and really fairy like. The last product I got is a lipstick from 3CE and this is in the color 607 ba b a a a a b a a a a b a a a three A's. Um, and this is a really pretty nude shade and it's not matte. Not that matte actually. It's a little bit glossy but it's still on the matte side. And I didn't want a lipstick that was totally matte because I still want a little bit gloss and I feel like matte lipsticks on me don't really look good. So I just opted for the little glossy lips if that makes sense. So after that, I just got a few products from like Target and Lush. Uh, let's see. The first product, well, two products I got are the Real Technique sponges. And this is really similar to the, uh, to the Beauty Blender, which I do have right here. I have the pink one. And then I got these two for $10 at Target. And this itself is $20, so who's the real winner. They both work pretty similar. In fact, they're really similar. So I can't really, you know, I would probably buy the Real Techniques one because it's two for 10 when while this is one for 20. And then I have a brow product from Benefit. This is the Gimme Brow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel and I got it in the shade number five. I've actually been really enjoying this product because I have really sparse eyebrows towards the end. It's just really hard to fill it in with the eyebrow pencil and I find that it's a lot easier to apply this first 
to like the outer parts of my eye I, I was gonna say eyelashes eyebrows and then just a little bit in the front and then I fill in my brows like that and it just gives it a lot more texture for the eyebrow pencils to stay on then I have a scrub that I got from Sting Ives this is the blackhead clearing green tea scrub this is supposed to clear blackheads and calm redness I like this scrub a lot because I find like around my nose I get a lot of whiteheads and it's like gross so I use this a lot more often because it's a lot more gentle and it does say that you can use this on a daily which I still don't do that I use it like every two days every three days whenever I feel like I need to clear my nose a lot more for my foundation to stay on a little bit more smoother my last product for this haul is the lush tea tree water toner water and I got well I was watching Tati from on, well on here on YouTube and she was talking about this product how she loves to use this after the gym I got this with that intention in mind but I haven't gone to the gym yet so I haven't been able to use it but I've still been using it like after my shower anytime I feel like I need a refresher because it, tea tree does kill bacteria so I just find that it's a really good product to use just to you know like disinfect your face like your body I use it on my body my shoulders because I have like small breakouts on my well, like one or two pimples like every so often on my back and it's like gross so I spray it on there and it's been smooth so it's been working quite well and I really like this although it expires pretty fast well I bought it like two weeks ago but they made it on February 7th 2017 oh, wait I just realized it doesn't expire by April 7th 2018 17 and expires on 2018 so I was using this religiously because I thought it was gonna expire I'm like I can't use it like this was ten dollars I'm not gonna like wow I'm dumb I it expires next year I'm so dumb and I'm so done but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>